Okay. Into the Salusa Summit set now between Ma and Pound Cake. Wow, early job, Ma. Unfortunately, no follow up right there. I do know that Chris uh, does have difficulties landing that currently in his practice, but he is constantly working on that. It's just landing that other hit ball to Boreo. Like, that's the killer for him, right? He always tries to connect with that. Does not succeed. Right now with the match, otherwise. Yeah, down smash, why not? Catch the landing, dash attack. If he jumps, he probably could have died from it, honestly. It pro I think it would have sent him at the same angle with no jump. Very good spacing on the up tilt, that'll almost kill Reek. Good trap! I think that's some good edge play from Chris right here, and he fights the song off of me with the trade with the downer. Beautiful play. Alright. He could have landed that too, he would have bought the ledge! Oh my goodness, what a game so far. Jacob, Jacob does find the stop off. Three, five, two, eight. He gets behind him with the beer goes on the fight into a back air catching him. Here. Just trying to weed it out a little bit. Charging the bike. That's that! Beats him out with the forward air and fading away from the focus, he's not gonna get caught by anything there. Cause just let off a simple half loft and that's it. Even in a, in a quick game, lofts can be very useful for Wario there. And he takes that game like that. Just like that, yeah. Now like, one thing I was like, going to touch on was like, Wario's bike usage, like Chris's usage of bike in particular. I believe what he uses it for is either as a first option, or as an option that forces you to either respect it, or you have to, or like to challenge it, you either have to trade it or just be really spot on with reacting and punishing it. Because it comes out decently fast. Wario's, uh, the description for Wario's bike, uh, I think it says like, it's a big number that, uh, that bike can go in terms of speed. And you definitely see it the most with Wario Man's bike. Do not attempt. Very dangerous stunt. Anyway, we see Jacob taking us to Battlefield, I can imagine, with platforms, aiding Ryu's combo game, and especially that top platform giving him a very good opportunity to kill with. So far, it just looks like Wario has a hard time getting through these platforms without taking damage from it. Okay, very good bike right there. Into the downer, gets some good damage there. And I'm liking Chris's composure right there and reacting to the focus. He knows that he has an option that just beats it out with the command grab bite. And now on the chase down, but a little too greedy on the chase down of that as Jacob recognizing his aggressiveness. Simple thrown out sure you can will take the stock. And I see another reason that he's using bike before. It's not just the power boost and also to set up into some of his options. Almost finding a kill off of that conversion off the of bike. Mm -hmm. Using it to mix up his landing a little bit. Switch himself a little bit. Fourth throw. Get some stage control off of that. Bike set up, he will find it. We're going just above the ledge there. Gonna offer. Chris and Optimus, Yeah, why not wait? You know your character so well, you understand that bike will extend a hard box. So just chilling on the on the ledge, very wise thing to do. We see Wario with the waft, fully charged now. It's gonna put a lot of pressure on Pound Cake, I can imagine. Because if Chris lands one confirmation to that, he's got it. And now with the stage control, it might help him out. Very good that Pound Cake got back in there really quickly to put some pressure on before Chris could start setting up for that. Okay. He uses the shuriken and he spends the loss, sending Rio way out there, tries to get a gimp for the quarter, does not find it. Really hitbox sets up really high. Focus, yes. And Ma understands that too. Oh no. <laughs> I think Ford Smash was shield right there. That's game 2 1 1.
Okay. Well, um, so I think we started on Smash Roll, and then we went to Battlefield. We're gonna go back to Smash Roll. Okay. Okay, so there's no reason to cut this off at all. But, but, but let's think, think about it, since Wario won here, what advantages in stage would he get here, specifically? Hmm. I'm honestly not sure here. It's like, I'm trying to think of it here. This is a smaller stage, so Bike doesn't have to travel as much distance to chase after someone, so I can see that being a good, a good attribute for him there. And I can see this platform coming into play for Warrior specifically. What's that platform isn't as much of a distraction as the platforms on Battlefield and Dream Mode would be, even Lila. This platform sometimes spends its time away from above the stage as it goes drifting far out on the left and the right. Good catch on the high recovery again! Chris has been able to cover that. Voice. Rip. <laughs> oh. Miss Info on the recovery, that's quick death. Now, I wonder if Hockey's gonna wanna play this carefully or just get in there. If he can take Wario off to stop off quick enough, he can get him before Rick walk comes out fully. At the same time, he could give him rage. You don't want to give Rick Warrior rage and then not finish it off. Finish the job, right? Okay, the bike charges through the F-Smash, giving Chris an opportunity for an edge guard, and he finds it! Beautiful waft of candy! He's going to half walk so well! I love it! I love the placement on these walks. So good. I got half off, but that's not really exactly half off, is it? Like a little bit more, just like under 20 seconds, and you would have had a full charge off. <laughs> it's also one of its fastest options too, is that uh, not fully charged off too. That's why I like it so much. And this is like the first time I've really seen Chris utilizing that to his advantage. So there you have it. The last of the day. Watch day. I gotta add this to my backpack at some point. <laughs> Somebody says I have to add this to my backpack when I access it. Anyway, so this is game number three, four. Yeah, game four. Chris is two up right now. If he takes one more game, he will not out Pound Cake. So Pound Cake does have to play from the deficit to win the set in games. The commanding hitbox is coming out against Wario here. That's something that Ryu could definitely abuse against Wario's aerial hitboxes is his own having much superior range in the forwarder and backer. And Jesus is so much more than That was the first bike that Chris went for there. Very lenient on his usage of that. <laughs> I know the uh, edge guard that Chris was intending to be right there. But the hitbox is Hatsi just knocking him away from even setting up for that. That's full dare, that was a mistake. Okay. Might be difficult here. Like, trades with the hitbox right there. And in an advantageous spot, a trade wouldn't be too bad for Ryu there. However, he's not gonna be able to trade with a big wheelie hitbox. Again, that power coming out. Okay. Right here. It doesn't look like the bike extends the hitbox as much. Shake on it. Did not get hit by that aerial that hit the bike. It might linger the hitbox. I'm not sure. Oh, 
not gonna commit there. He recognizes the focus that the WAP won't connect and break the focus. We'll just hit focus. He doesn't want to blow his load here. No, he doesn't. We can find a good setup on Ryu. That will be the game. We find him looking for it here. He must be so careful with his focus usage too, because if he releases it at the wrong time, that just makes him lose all of his armor for it. Oh, that was it! Oh my god, Chris gets it! Abusing the fact that Palkick extended his hitbox and his hurtbox on the bike, able to find the walk right there. And that will set Chris, aka Ma, moving on.